Shown here is the lower engine sump plate removed from an engine where coolant and oil mixed heavily. The oil will turn a light brownish color with streaks of light brown running through it. If you see this or anything similar to this when you empty your oil, then you most likely have a head gasket leak that needs to be addressed right away. When coolant mixes with engine oil in this fashion, the oil loses its ability to function as a lubricant for the engine bearings and you can damage the crankshafts and the rods and it can lead to catastrophic engine failure. Here is the best photo I could take of the hoses in the engine compartment. They are so difficult to reach that it's even very difficult to get a good accurate photo of them. This photo was taken with the transmission out of the car which is indeed the best time to replace a coolant tank. The arrow points to the hoses that need to be disconnected. The oil filler hose, orange arrow, oil cooler hose, green, radiator vent hose, blue, coolant filler hose, yellow, coolant overflow hose, shown remove, mates to the nipple shown on the red arrow. The lower left insert photo shows the coolant level sensor unplugged. The lower right insert photo shows the top of the tank. If you're having difficulty reaching some of the hoses from underneath, you may be able to gain some additional access by pulling out the tank and loosening the hose clamps through the rear trunk. For this photo, I was first able to disconnect the filler hose and then I had enough room to pull the tank out to reach some of the other hoses. You can also push the DME wiring harness grommet into the engine compartment and gain some additional access that way. Shown here are the screws that attach the coolant tank to the chassis. The blue arrow points to the nuts that hold the plastic manifold to the chassis. The yellow arrow points to the coolant sensor. The green arrow shows another mounting point for the bottom of the tank. In the insert photo, the red arrow points to a bolt that holds the top of the tank to the chassis and the purple arrow shows the oil dipstick tube pulled away from the top of the tank housing. Shown here is a new tank along with a brand new coolant level sender and the new expansion tank cap. The oil filler tube bulkhead manifold is one of the goofiest designs I've seen in a long time. In our project car, coolant just started spilling all over the place from a broken plastic nipple on this manifold. I quote unquote fixed the design of the manifold and simply cut a hole in the manifold and ran a hose directly from the engine compartment to the bottom of the tank. It was thought of as a temporary fix but honestly it's been working great to this day. Installation is the reverse of removal and don't forget to refill your coolant. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.